Look, I just want you to know, as far as you and I are concerned, there's no hard feelings. That is so generous of you. I'll think about that when you shoot me in the back. Come on, don't be like that. You're the one that hustled me, remember? And that, you see, is what I was trying to provide for you. Some guidance, some mentorship, a father figure. I was trying to help you. The janitor gig, it was to test your metal, your resolve. And I gotta say, you reacted with some balls, kid. Some big old balls. You see, Reese, I started at the bottom, and I worked my way up. I, uh... I used to be in the mailroom. Whoa, wait a minute. Wallet head! That's where Jack found it. <laughs> he used to be bald and he was going through these hair implants and, and, and I, it would stick money to his head. It was, <laughs> oh my God. It was hilarious. Oh, that one was a long time ago. I, ask him about it. He'll tell you. Ask him about it. <laughs> Go on. Go on, seriously. But that's ask a pretty him. big difference. You know what I've always found so impressive about you? It's that hair of yours. I mean, so natural, so realistic. Those implants are just the best. Implant. <laughs> I... I was trying to be nice to you. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Oh, that's now right. when I take your corpse back to Helios, I'm gonna make sure they save me your hair before they start experimenting on you. It's always nice to have options. You know. Whoa. That's legitimately creepy. Just, I just need some reassurances. That it was just about the money and nothing else. And relationships have to be built on trust. I don't know if I can take Sasha back without it. How do you even start a conversation like that? At this point, I assume she's just embarrassed. August, you're pathetic. So you're saying I shouldn't take her back? Hey, we all make mistakes. I've certainly made my fair share. Who am I to judge? You're pathetic. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Well, here we are. Go on. Stalling won't do you any good. Come on, are you stalling? Whoa. Hey, what is this? No, 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 no! Whoa. Have a nice chat? I <laughs> can't imagine he's too happy with you guys. I, I, at least that's the vibe I was getting. I hate that son of a bitch. I kind of picked up on that. Gortis unit ready for assembly. We got it! We got it! I guess that's our cue. Ha <laughs> ha! 
What exactly do you think I'm doing? What is that? That is a metal ball. How's this gonna get us into a vault? Hmm, maybe it's some sort of vault key. It doesn't look like any vault key I've seen. Oh please, the only vault key you've seen was the fake one you tried to sell me. This is true. Grab the thing and let's go. No, 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 what are you doing? Warning, Gortis device compromised. Smooth one, idiot. It's fine. See? Uh-oh. Didn't like that, Reese. Did not like that one bit. No problem. Everything is okay. Reese, you gotta let me into your subsystems, man. I can hack into these drones and I can uh, uh, almost guarantee no one dies. Unless you want them to. Probably. Uh, just let me in. I... Vaughn! Uh... It's under control, Reese. Trust me. What? No, no. Listen, we can take over the whole facility, kid. We've got this. Okay. Okay, what? Are you talking to me? Yes, yes, I'm talking to you. Do whatever it is you have to do. <laughs> How are you doing that? I'm not. Really. <laughs> Hail to the king, baby!
Back so soon? What's the rush? Okay, okay, sit down, shut up, and pay attention. The misfit vault hunters had discovered the secret location of the Gortis project, but getting there wouldn't be easy. Hyperion had not forgotten about their renegade employees, and the native Pandoran wildlife was, uh, just getting to know them. They escaped with their lives, but not much else. Out in the wasteland, the former middle manager discovered Handsome Jack riding shotgun in his brain while having a shotgun pointed at his head. Fancy meeting you a two. precarious position, to be sure, but nothing compared to the con artist. The price on her head had attracted all kinds of thugs and gunmen. You'd think that would have been the end of her story. But hey, you never know when a polite reprogrammed killing machine will drop in and save the day. Was she bothering you? Back on the trail of the Gortis project, they found a wondrous hidden city, risen from the corpse of a ghost town. But unfortunately, their moment of awe and victory was to be the advantage of their opponents. <laughs> Checkmate. Taken hostage and forced to surrender the keys to the kingdom. They had to go all in on one last gamble. This chapter of the story begins with the questionable choice to trust Handsome Jack. Chose a bona fide nutcase over Fiona? Yes, he did. Uh, kinda overestimating Fiona's sanity with that statement. Being around you would make anyone nuts after a while. I'm starting to get that. I, I'm sorry, are you guys teaming up now? Because I kinda feel like you are. <laughs> Why did you choose Jack? When all of Pandoran recorded history would tell you it's a risky choice. He had a plan, plain and simple. Hey, I had a plan. It wasn't the greatest plan, sure, but it was better than trusting Handsome Jack. Being able to control the facility seemed like the way to go. You chose Jack, cause you're an idiot. There's no other explanation for it. <laughs> I don't suppose there's a spare for the spare. Well, if there is, I'm not changing it this time. We're close. We can walk it from here. Where the hell is here? Yeah. And why is it where we are? I'll tell you when I find what we're looking for. So, what happened next? <laughs> well, things started out fine, 